is Blake Smith, and I'm from Salt Lake City, Utah. I often get asked how I get in, got into this industry, because my background is actually bioanalytical chemistry, and I worked in pharmaceuticals for a good portion of my career. I left pharmaceuticals, and I went to academia. Um, while in academia, my daughter was diagnosed with a genetic condition that gave her predilection for seizures. Um, during that time, Current medication wasn't shown to be effective for kids like my daughter. And so um, I left my career at the time. Um, at the time I was at the University of Utah and I was over environmental health and safety for the healthcare network as well as teaching in the med school, University of Utah Med School, intervention radiology and the effects of chemotherapy on the immune system. Um, and so I ended up moving to Tonopah and growing, you know, a lot of uh, uh, hemp, industrial hemp at the time, and then I built one of the largest processing facilities in the United States at that time, and I started isolating specific cannabinoids. Um, you know, just prior to that, I went and got products, we belonged to a parents alliance for my daughter, and there were suggestions that, you know, CBD or THC might help, and so I went and was able to get products from various places, which, you know, um, but rather than give them to my daughter, that would be irresponsible. I took them to my lab and we analyzed them. We found pesticide residues, we found metals, we found they weren't what they said they were. And so I decided to do this myself. And that's when I left my career to, to get into cannabis to become a cannabis scientist. Listen. Most people are pretty familiar with the idea of you get a cannabis plant, you either take a clone, a tissue culture, a seed, and you grow a cannabis plant. And you're, everybody's probably familiar with what that sort of bud looks like. But that's only one small part of the overall operation. Um, when you start thinking about minor cannabinoids and you start thinking about isolating specific compounds for specific therapeutic purposes, it requires extraction. And once you start doing extraction, you're going to pull out all the individual components that you want and get rid of some of the components you don't want. For example, there are certain compounds that have sulfurs in them and if you mix those with water you can make sulfuric acid. Nobody wants to smoke sulfuric acid, nobody wants to eat sulfuric acid. It's not a good idea. And so the process of extraction is removing things that you don't need and leaving things that you do. So a good example of that is you know somebody who has cancer who is on chemotherapy and so they have nausea as a result of that. They also have loss of appetite. With specific cannabinoids, we can stimulate appetite and we can help the nausea. And so we can have individuals gain weight. There's a general misconception that like marijuana or CBD or THC fixes everything. And scientifically, that just makes no sense. There is no single plant on the entire planet that fixes everything. So the question comes down to how does it actually work? And what is the science behind it? And so when you think about it, every individual cannabinoid is mimicking a natural neurotransmitter that humans already have. Your body does all kinds of things from breathing to you know, temperature regulation to mood stabilization to fight or flight responses to I fight off enemies when I get sick. You know, your body does all these things. And those are all regulated through, you know, uh, chemical pathways, electrical chemical pathways within the body. Cannabis is a really cool plant because the cannabinoids that exist inside of cannabis have, over time, mimic natural neurotransmitters that humans have. And so when somebody has inflammation, there's a cannabinoid that lowers inflammation. You have anxiety and stress, there's a cannabinoid that actually mimics downregulation of that particular pathway in the system and so we can lower stress. So the way to think about that cannabis, the real way to think about medical cannabis is specific formulations for specific conditions and that's cool. There's often fear around cannabis, especially in new markets, you know. We we have all experienced the war on drugs and you know that reefer madness and everybody is going to end up, you know, losing their minds. Um, 
that's just not backed by science. We, we are figuring out more and more every day how cannabis actually works. And as we figure out how cannabis actually works, we can hone in on specific conditions and alleviate them using this plant. Um, one of the things that becomes tricky with this is, well, how do we know what part of the plant fixes what thing? And that's where the science comes in. And um, we're now just figuring it out. There's 120 different cannabinoids that we have identified through mass spectrometer. We know maybe what 10 of them do. And so this, this is going to be a long scientific journey, but it's going to be a fun one. So I became associated with, with Southern Sky Brands. Um, it, it's so funny. The, the industry is actually smaller than you would think it is. People start kind of figuring out who's doing what, where. And I was approached by a mutual friend who says, you know, medical is moving into Mississippi. Now, I have a very hard stint on the medical side. I don't have any moral issue with adult use. Um, but I also think if you're going to call something medicine, then we should be treating it like medicine. And so I got approached, you know, through a mutual friend, Southern Sky, and, and they basically said, look, we see what you're doing in other places and making medicine. If we're really going to make medicine, then we need to bring that to the people of Mississippi. And my, my kind of personal ethos is creating specific medicines for specific purposes and getting medicine into more people's hands is the right thing to do, not only for the industry, but also for the people here, as well as all of us. Southern Sky um, is one of those groups that I am more than happy to give, you know, all my scientific knowledge and everything I can do to help them create medicine for the people of Mississippi. Not all medicine is created equal. Um, I hear all the time that people will say, oh, well, I should go be able to, to the car wash and get my CBD, or I should be able to, you know, just go buy it from whoever. It's not how that actually works, you know. When you think about actual medicine, um, I would not buy my aspirin from the guy who's making it in his bathtub next door to me. There needs to be a real process, there needs to be real science, there needs to be... Um, real practices and principles in creating something that we take to be a healing agent. Um, and so what I would say is Southern Sky Brand is that company. We apply real science to real medicine.